Hey guys! Oh my goodness, it feels like it's been so long since I filmed because the last few videos I posted have been like pre-recorded because I was gone and so like so much has happened since since the last time I filmed. Um, I like I went to San Francisco. I got to go to AT&T Park for Fan Fest. Um, what else? I saw my cousin get engaged. I was like right there and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> Um, let's see, I had like the best Valentine's Day ever. And so in the midst of all of this, my Ipsy bag came in the mail. And so I thought before February is over, I should go ahead and do an unbagging video for you guys. Um, so I guess let's get started. Um, okay, so this is the bag for February and it's like a pink like cosmetic bag. And it's cute, and I like that you can reuse these bags. It's not just like a little Ziploc or something. And so, um, another thing I noticed, like, when I first opened the bag is, like, three of my items are full-size products. And so, let's see, like, one of them is $9, the other one's $18, and the other one's $2.99. So, like, that's a nice little chunk of full-size items when the bag is only $10 a month. So, that's, like, awesome value, and I can't wait to use these things. Um, so the first thing that I pulled out is by City Color and it's called Be Matte. And at first I wasn't sure if this was like a foundation because it looks like a pressed powder. But then I read online and I saw this is actually a blush. And so this is just like a bronze blush basically. And it's a matte. There's no shimmer or anything there. It's supposed to be silky smooth, richly pigmented, and ultra blendable. And so this is actually kind of dark for my skin tone, but it might be nice for like contouring because I usually use like a bronzer right in here. Um, and then if it's super blendable, then that's good too. Just so like you don't use too much or like if you do use kind of more than you wanted, you can kind of blend it out a little bit so it doesn't look like these like dark brown lines on my face. And so this is in the shade Toasted Coconut and it only retails for $2.99. And so I'm not really sure where you can get these, but if it's only $2.99, it's probably worth looking for, especially if I like it. So um, that was the first thing. <laughs> so the second thing that came in my bag is by Pop Beauty. And I actually had the Smokin' Hot Trio from my last one that was like eyeshadows. So now I have their lip gloss and it's in the shade Peony Petal. And this retails for $16. This is not the full size. So actually, this is the full size. This is not the full size. And this is still a pretty decent size, though. This will last a while. And so the full, full size retails for $16. And this is actually a plumping lip gloss. And they say that um, like it shines like a gloss, but it's supposed to stay put like a stain. So this will be interesting to try out. Um, it also has some avocado and jojoba oils, so that's supposed to just be like good nutrients for your lips, and it'll probably make them extra soft when you use this too. Um, I didn't open this. I guess let's try opening it. Let's see. I don't know if this is going to happen. Let's see. Um, yeah, so it's a plumping lip gloss, so... It's funny because I actually just got one. If you saw my Sephora haul, I got a plumping lip gloss and that one's just clear though. And so this one actually has some color to it and this, it actually it smells kind of nice. Like, I don't even know what this scent would be. Mm, like a sweet kind of scent, kind of, I don't know, <laughs> kind of, kind of, <laughs> um, so this will be fun to try out. And then another thing, like just in my last Ipsy bag, um, like everything that came in my bag can all be used together for like one cohesive look. And so when I review everything, that's kind of what I plan on doing just like last time. Um, so, okay, so so far I have a bronzer and a lip gloss. And then the next thing that I found was it's this. And at first when I saw this, I thought it was another lip gloss. So I was like, that's kind of weird. Why would I get two in the same bag? But then I looked up online and this is actually an eyeshadow. And so it's by Teeny Beauty and it's a shadow tint and it's in the shade Ambrosia. And it's like a really pretty, like a plummy mauve color. And let's see. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's like a metallic 
color and it's really pretty. I don't even know if you can see that. It looks kind of dark in the dark, <laughs> but it's like a really metallic-y, shimmery color and it feels like nice and rich and it actually blends out really well. Like, so it's not just like this super dark line. <laughs> um, so this is a full size product and in the store it would retail for $18, but I got it in my bag. So that's awesome. And you can use this alone as an eyeshadow or as like an eyeshadow base. So that would be like a really pretty base just to have and it would make whatever you put on top like pop even more. Um, so that was the third item. And then next there is an intense renewal mask for your hair by Numi. And so it comes in like this little tube and basically, um, let's see, the full size of this retails for $29 and it's like an intense moisture mask for your hair. And so basically they're saying that after your first use, you'll notice drastic improvement and superior results. Um, so my hair is not really that dry. It's not really dry at all. But this will be nice because I'm supposed to go up to my grandma's in a few weeks and she lives kind of like in a high desert region and my hair tends to get dry when I'm up there because it's like of the wind and everything. So this will be a nice mask to just have on hand and to use like after I go visit her. So um, let's see if it smells good. Um, of course it's sealed. Let's take a little seal off. This actually smells really nice and... I don't have anything that smells like this. It's like a traditional shampoo conditioner scent, but it almost has like a laundry fresh scent in a way. <laughs> um, so this will be good to try out also, especially if you see results after the first use. Because like sometimes it's just hard to really know if you like it if you don't see results after the first time. So if they're claiming that after the first use, I'm supposed to see dramatic results. So we'll see what happens when I use this stuff. Okay. And so the last thing that I got, I was so excited because it's a Zoya nail polish and this is a full size product and this retails for $9 and it's in the shade Odette. And it's like a really pretty, they describe it as a sultry orchid maroon cream. And so it's like a nice like lavender basically. And it's a really pretty color for spring or really like any time of the year. Um, you can almost use this as like a nude color just because of like how creamy and it's almost like a neutral in a way. Um, and I, like you could use this year round. So this is like a really pretty color and Zoya has some of my favorite nail polishes. Their polishes tend to be super opaque so like one coat usually does the trick and they're always super glossy and shiny. So... A full size of Zoya nail polish was like basically made the bag for me. <laughs> like everything else was really nice, but Zoya is awesome and their polishes are $9 on their own. So to get this and everything else that came in my bag is like amazing. And I'm so glad and I can't wait to review everything for you guys. And my next video will... Either I'll be talking Ipsy or Birchbox, probably Birchbox and Ipsy. So when I review all this stuff, I'm excited to tell you guys about it. <laughs> um, so that was everything that came in my bag. Um, I guess I'll be talking about Birchbox the next time I show you guys a video. I'm actually going to do a product review on a video or on a product that I just got. And normally I wouldn't review something so fast, but... I'm kind of not sold on it and I'm thinking I might return it so I want to do a video on it before I return it um, so I'll actually like have it in my hand when I'm talking about it so that was everything um, hopefully you guys will stay tuned for the next one um, go ahead and leave any comments below if there's something else you want to see me talk about um, and I will see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>